Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today's video is going to be a pantry and fridge restock video. I did a quiz on my Instagram asking you guys how much you think everything or all the food was, and a lot of you guys guessed it correctly. All of this food was $350. So I had to stock up on so many snacks, dinner meals too, but you guys, we went almost two weeks, two weeks without getting any groceries. Granted, we did go to the store, or Frank, I should say Frank went to the store to get a few things, but I didn't do a big shopping trip for almost two weeks. But anyways, I had to stock up on not only snacks, but we needed to get some more veggies. I almost couldn't fit all of the veggies in this bin. Sometimes I wish we had a bigger fridge because when you do have a big family, I almost feel like a second fridge is necessary for us because we just have to get so much food a lot of the times. Um, but the kids have been loving mandarin oranges lately and I have too, so I stocked up on those. And I also wanted to say, because I still always get questions about the bins that are in the fridge and in the pantry, I will always link everything down below. Now, sometimes I do forget and you guys will hold me accountable and you'll ask me, Brittany, where's the link? So if that happens, don't be afraid to comment that. But I always try to link everything as or as much stuff as I can down below because I know a lot of you guys are always wondering where you can get these bins. And I have got them many different places. I would definitely check Target, Walmart, Amazon, um, even the container store has really good options as well. But if you guys have been watching my restock videos, then you already know I really don't have a specific method when it comes to organizing the fridge, besides the fact of putting the designated food in the bins. That, play, that part is self-explanatory, but I usually just try to fit things and squeeze things as much as I can, try to utilize our space as much as I can by just basically playing Tetris with all the food and trying just to fit it in the best way that I can. that it is fall I feel like I have found us using more potatoes for some reason I think it's just like the fall recipes and the crock pot recipes have been asking or calling for potatoes so I just took one of these wired bins this is actually one of the bins that I got from the container store and I just put all of the potatoes sweet potatoes and onions in there usually I don't even have a designated place for them but because I have so many lately now they have their designated little bin um you guys these little bites are going to be the death of me the death of me i have you guys already know i have a love hate relationship with these little bites because the kids absolutely love them but i am so tired of looking at them i really am let me know down below what is that one snack that your kid eats and absolutely loves but you cannot stand like i have some of those snacks with the kids like Aria loves spicy Takis, chips, hot Cheetos. But I'm like, girl, how is your stomach handling that? Like she could just literally eat spicy chips and stuff all day. And I'm like, this is not healthy. This cannot be healthy, but she absolutely love it. Like it's just that one snack that she absolutely loves so much. Um, but I also wanted to mention just like the fridge, 
when it comes to the pantry there's some bins that I have like designated spots for but for the most part I just try to fit as much stuff as I can wherever I can find it um, but actually speaking of the pantry as well because we have not done any DIY projects which I don't know if you guys have been missing them or not you'll have to let me know I am starting to think or talking to Frank about doing a pantry makeover. So getting rid of the wired shelves that are in there, putting wood shelves and even cabinets and maybe even a wine fridge or a mini fridge in there. Like we want to do a huge complete renovation of the pantry so i would love to gauge your guys's interest in that i mean i think regardless i think we're going to move forward with it here soon but i still want to hear from you guys do you miss the diy projects and our renovations that we used to do all the time. I know we've been doing a lot of organizational videos, which actually I'm gonna do an extreme decluttering video here very soon of like some areas of the house that need some extreme decluttering, but let me know if you guys are missing that. And also I know I haven't been doing much cleaning videos as well, so I'd love to hear your guys' input about those too. It was so cute as I was organizing everything and you guys probably just saw in the previous clips but Scarlett wanted to help me with everything and she was actually doing a really good job when she was putting away the applesauce and the fruit snacks like she was so organized with it um, but yeah she wanted to help me put all of the cereal away in the bins I think I mentioned a while ago to you guys that I've noticed that Aria she has taken an interest in organization there was actually one day she organized the whole pantry for me and I have noticed that Scarlett is the same way like she loves to help she loves to be hands-on Nolan he will help sometimes too but it's mainly Scarlett and Aria and then Harlow she could just honestly care less like she just doesn't care about anything organized it's so funny like how different they are and how some of them are really organized like Aria is and then Harlow's just like yeah whatever I did get more snacks than usual this time. I found it hard finding places to, or finding ways I should say, on organizing everything. I think at, at this point, I was just like, whatever, I'm just gonna throw all of these chips in the bin, pirate booties in the bins. Like I was like, I don't know where I'm going to put anything. So if you guys noticed how it got a little sloppy and not as organized that is the reason why and that was the same situation with the bread as well for whatever reason I guess I just decided I was gonna get every bread product imaginable I had bread bagels English muffins um, Hawaiian rolls hot dog buns hamburger buns so again I was just playing Tetris and just trying to fit everything in there the best way that I could
So I also realized that I did not film any B-roll after I organized everything in the fridge and pantry. I usually try to do that, but it totally slipped my mind. So I am so sorry, you guys, that you can still kind of get an idea of how everything looks and how everything turned out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If it gives you motivation to want to organize your fridge or pantry, or it's just satisfying to watch, give you different ideas, regardless, whatever the reason is, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. And also don't forget to comment on this video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye guys.